With the release of version 15.30, PLS CAD now has the ability to define inset phase diagram views that can be used to show the configuration of the circuits and phasing along a line modeled within PLS CAD. This feature utilizes the page and station range functionality to define the title page, sheet index map, note pages, and plan and profile pages in conjunction with the inset views and the circuit and phase labels to create drawing sheets that show the orientation, structure location, and circuits and phase labeling along the model line. The project used in this video is named WPL underscore demo dot XYZ and is an example project shipped with the software. If PLS CAD is installed using the default settings, then this example is typically located within C, Users, Public, Documents, PLS, PLS CAD, Examples, Projects. It is also the same model shown in other Powerline Systems videos that describe the methodology of setting up drawing sheets and defining the circuit and phase labels. The title sheet, sheet index map, and plan and profile sheets have previously been set up. This process on how to set up these sheets is shown within the PLS CAD plan and profile sheets with title, notes, and appendix pages video located here. To create a phasing diagram, the circuits and phase labels will first need to be defined. This has been done within the defining and labeling circuits and electrical phasing in PLS CAD video located here. To create additional sheets for your phasing diagram, you will need to go to Drafting, Plan Profile Sheet Configurations, Pages and Station Range, and add additional notes pages to the sheets view. Zoom to page 3, which is the notes sheet we just created. To add a plan view within the notes sheet, use the command drafting, inset views, add, inset plan detail, and define the area within the notes sheet. Use the information within the taskbar at the bottom of the screen to help guide you through this process. If working in the sheets view, drag to define an area for the inset viewport on the sheet view, you will want to add the inset plan detail. Then click on the XYZ point that you want at the center of the view. If the initial, if the initial view isn't exactly as you would like, you can use the commands drafting, inset views, pan, rotate, or zoom inset views to adjust as necessary. Another way to define the inset plan view is within the 3D or plan view. This method you will be able to first define the area of the project you wish to display. You will then be prompted to select the page and position on the sheet to add the inset view. Finally, the sheet inset plan view detail table will open which contains options for the display of the inset view. This table will default to a vertical table view, but you can hit the transpose button at the upper right corner of the window to switch this to a horizontal table view, which will also display settings used for other inset views. There are options in this table that control the display of the sheet inset plan view like scale, show attached images or DXFs, show structure labels, show the border of the viewport for the inset plan view, and much more. These options let you define the look and display range of the sheet inset plan views, and you can create a single or multiple inset plan views rapidly. To add an inset phasing diagrams, use the command drafting, inset views, add, inset phasing diagram. 
The first step is to select the structure you want to create the phasing diagram for. After the structure is selected, you will need to specify the sheet and size of the viewport up for the phasing diagram. Once that is complete, the sheet inset plan view table will open. This table has controls for the display of the phasing diagram, like the scale, structure geometry, show structure labels, cable attachment labels, and others. The cable attachment labels option allows for the display of the circuit labels, phase labels, both or none. Creating multiple inset phasing diagrams is, is made easier with the use of the transposed horizontal table because options can be copied to create multiple phasing diagrams for each different structures that show the circuit and phase configurations along the line. The use of the inset plan detail and inset phasing diagram used in conjunction with the circuit and phasing labels enables a PLSCAD user to quickly create drawings that leverages information in your PLSCAD model to show the circuit and phase configurations along the model line. For more information about our software, see our website at www.powline.com. If you would like some information on our software, you can email us at info at powline.com. If you would like to purchase our software, you can email us at sales at powline.com.